Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you all the new Halloween items and how to get them as fast as possible. So yeah, let's get right into the video. First things first, what you're going to want to do is find skeletons around the map that drop piles of bones and the places you'll find them are in the tribal camp in the little like campsite. There's a bunch of skeletons. You can also find them outside of the Silvertown Reservation spawn in the skeleton fort, which is uh, full of skeletons as well. You can find them in the camp in Bearpaw Valley that has a mine underneath it. It's kind of near Callahan. And finally, you can find skeletons in the Puerto Dorado area, like the mine area that had the glasses from the last update. You can find them there. There's a few of them there. And finally, if you kill all these skeletons in these areas, you'll probably get around 20, 25 bones. So it's best to have, if you have a friend, to send them into a different server, and then you guys can both farm bones on different servers, and then come and collect all the bones and put them together. You're going to need 30 of these to get into the underworld, like the gate, like to open the gate to the underworld. And inside the underworld is where you're going to get some of the cooler drops. So once inside the underworld, there are only two mobs that spawn aside from the boss, which are the zombie bear and then just regular skeletons standing around. So the skeletons still have the ability to drop the skull lantern, which is really cool, and then they also have the ability to drop the joyful pumpkin. Now this doesn't matter if you're in the dungeon or not, you can kill random skeletons and they'll give you the joyful pumpkin hat or the lantern, you don't have to be inside of the underworld to do that. And then the zombie bear though, the zombie bear is ex exclusive to only inside of the dungeon, so when you kill those, you have a chance of getting a playful pumpkin and a zombie pelt. which. I think it's going to be super rare, just like the polar bear pelt, you're going to be able to craft it into cool items for your house, like rugs. So definitely, if you have some time, grind those up, and those will sell for a lot in the future when trading comes out. Finally, once you get to the boss room, obviously there's a boss inside. He's a massive undead skeleton, and he's got a cool volcanic pistol. He's pretty simple, he doesn't have too many attacks or like mechanics to him, he's just pretty basic. Um, he walks around and he shoots at you, so you definitely want to be behind pillars if he's shooting at you, if he's targeting you. Um, so you're just going to want to shoot him in the head whenever you get a chance to, and then when he spawns this shield, he's going to repel bullets back at you, so you do not want to shoot at the shield. That's just a bad idea, he'll send them back, and he can also send them through pillars sometimes, so I'd be careful about that. But once you kill him, he has a chance of dropping the ceremonial dagger, which is a cool little jagged dagger, which does 40 damage by the way, it's pretty crazy. And then he also has the chance to drop the volcanic pistol, which is a don't lose it like you don't have to buy it like the regular volcanic pistol and it also has a cool effect on it like a fire effect and also like a spell effect on it so it's super sick he also drops a pumpkin the scornful pumpkin which if you remember is from the last halloween update so if you already have that this won't really matter but then he um, also just drops some rubies and amethysts and that's all of his drops and so outside of that there is the wendigo that spawns around the map and he has the chance to drop the wendigo holsters the wendigo hat and finally the Wendigo horse, which is definitely uh, what everybody wants to get right now. So I'm making a separate video about how to get the Wendigo horse effectively by yourself. So uh, yeah, be on the lookout for that. Also UFOs roam around the map and they have the chance to drop a laser cannon, which is super cool. Um, usually they drop it in the same spot located here outside of the Silvertown Lake Reservation and right next to the skull, uh, skeleton fort. So you can find that pretty easily. I've found it there like three times already. So that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, those are how you find the uh, Halloween items. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want more Wild West content, be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, peace out. Happy Halloween. Happy late Halloween, my bad.